Hey guys, welcome back to Mind State, where we help you reach your full potential. In today's video, we will be discussing 18 psychological facts you don't know about yourself. Let's get to it. The human mind is a complex and fascinating thing. Psychology is an interdisciplinary branch of science that seeks to understand human behavior and experience. Although it's one of the last understood areas of knowledge, Scientists have learned a lot about how our minds work. Let's take a look at some surprising psychological facts. Number 1. The ability to delay gratification starts young. If you're someone who gives in to your desires quickly, it isn't necessarily a sign that you are incapable of delaying gratification. In fact, many of us are just as impulsive as children. When researchers tested how well people could resist temptation when they were children, they found that even at age 3 or 4, children who had trouble delaying gratification were more likely to have problems later in life. This study also showed that these children were more likely to struggle with eating disorders, substance abuse, and other behavioral problems later on. The ability to delay gratification can be learned, but it takes practice, especially for those who aren't used to delaying their wants and needs. Number 2. You know what they say? Too many choices, no choice at all. You might be thinking, I'd like to have more choices than I can process. But the thing is, that's not really true. When you stand in the cereal aisle at the grocery store, overwhelmed by the number of available choices, ask yourself this. How many brands of cereal did you consider before deciding on your favorite brand? If it was more than one or two, you're probably feeling overwhelmed. But why do we feel this way? it's because our brains prefer to work with fewer options. When we're faced with too many things to think about or choose from, we freeze up and become indecisive. We end up just picking something at random because it seems less complicated than figuring out which option will give us the best outcome. Number 3. You're addicted to faces. It's an integral part of you. As humans, we are social beings and we often communicate our feelings through facial expressions. In fact, we are hardwired to scan the world for facial cues around us. Due to evolution, you deem such input as so important that your brain immediately and subconsciously reacts to anything that even remotely resembles a face. This is why we often find pictures that contain human faces more appealing than others. You see it everywhere, billboards, magazine ads, and social media feeds. So if you feel like something is missing from your life and want to give yourself some extra motivation for self-improvement or just get back on track with some positive habits, try focusing on faces. Number 4. The human mind is a complicated thing. It has developed to help us navigate the world, but sometimes it gets the best of us. One of the ways in which the mind works to help us survive is by finding patterns and making associations between things that happen in our lives. It's why we tend to see faces in clouds or hear voices in static. We're looking for patterns and connections, even when they aren't there. This is also why we tend to blame people instead of situations when things go wrong, even when it seems like the situation should be more important than who was involved in it. So next time you find yourself blaming someone for something undesirable happening, remember this video and take a step back before jumping to conclusions. Number 5 multitasking is a myth. The human mind can only perform one task at a time. So when we think we are multitasking, what actually happens is that we switch between tasks very quickly. This means that when you are doing two things at once, like talking on the phone while driving, you are actually doing both tasks poorly. Number 6. You know what they say, it's better to have a group of friends than just one friend. And that's because when you get together with your friends, you're more likely to work together, laugh together, and share activities together. And when you do that, you build up a stronger bond than if you were just hanging out with one person all the time. So, grab your friends and get going! Number 7. So you know that your mind wanders from time to time. But do you know just how much? Most of us have a wandering mind about 30% of the time. But this figure can rise as high as 70% depending on the situation we find ourselves in. Now, this is not necessarily a bad thing. Yes, a wandering mind will sometimes miss crucial information, but it can also encourage creativity. In addition, 
A wandering mind can actually help you keep other important information in mind while doing something else. Number 8. If you're tired of squinting at the computer, it might be time to change what you're looking at. Sure, blue and red are great colors, but they don't work so well together when it comes to making things pop out on the screen. In fact, this combination can create an optical illusion that makes something appear closer or farther than it really is. The result? Eye fatigue. It's not just the American flag that suffers from this problem. It's any site that uses a lot of red and blue together. If you want to be able to stare at your computer screen for hours without feeling like your eyes are going to fall out of their sockets, try changing up your color scheme and using more green or yellow in place of those two colors. Number 9. When you're feeling emotionally unstable, you want to feel safe. And what's safer than the familiar? After a heated argument with your partner or a terrible day at work, if you go to the grocery store, you're more likely to buy brands you are familiar with, rather than trying something new. This happens because when you're sad or scared, your mind looks for familiar things to latch onto. It's a way of comforting yourself and making sure that everything around you is okay. If you aren't sure what kind of food your partner likes in their lunchbox every day, or any other routine thing, then it might be worth asking them what they'd like packed for them this week. It'll give them some extra love and attention from you, which is always good. Are you liking the video so far? Before we get back, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell to get notified of our new uploads. Now let's get right back to it. Number 10. You've probably heard that you can only maintain 150 close bonds in your life. But what exactly is a close bond? And why do we have so few of them? Let's start with the basics. A bond is a relationship that you have with another person where you feel emotionally close to them. This means that you have strong feelings for them, trust them, and love being around them. People who have close bonds with others tend to be happy, healthy, and successful in their careers. In fact, research has shown that having more friends makes you more likely to live longer. So, it's pretty clear that having a lot of close bonds is good for your health and well-being. Number 11. Believe it or not, you can actually read text with longer lines faster than ones with narrower columns. The eyes are really good at finding a place to rest when they move across a page, so they tend to prefer shorter lines where they can find a column of space between each line. But keep reading, and you'll see that when it comes to reading speed, the length of your lines is more important than the width of them. Number 12. Remember how you used to think your memories were stored away like files on a computer? Well, they're not. Every time you try to collect any information from your past, your mind reconstructs the memory. This means that no two recollections of the same memory are ever the same. You actually reconstruct a memory every time, which is why it's possible for you to add things which were not there, or miss things that actually were. Number 13. If you have ever been around an advertisement, you have probably noticed how they affect you. Advertising is a powerful tool that can be used to influence the people who see it. The most common form of advertising is television commercials, but there are many other ways to reach out to people through ads. You may even see them on your Facebook feed or in magazines at the grocery store. Advertising is not just about selling products. It's also about making people feel better about themselves and helping them improve their lives. Number 14. The best way to learn about how other people think about things is through the experiences of others. But that's not always how things turn out to be. That's because mostly, our level of happiness stays about the same, and it always reverts to a steady norm. The actual truth about how you feel about future events is that you often overestimate your reactions to them both the positive and the negative ones. Number 15. So, you like bite-sized pieces of info? We know that people have a defined attention span, and we also know the limits of their information retention capacity. That's why we make sure that every piece of information is useful and relevant, so you can retain more of it. We're dedicated to giving you the best content possible, so that when you watch it, your mind will be able to digest it easily and retain everything at once. Number 16. If you're like most people, you probably think that your mind is an accurate representation of the world around you. But I'm here to tell you that this isn't true. 
your mind is constantly filtering information and changing how it processes things based on the words used to describe them. For example, if someone describes a car accident to you as contact, you won't have a terrible mental image of the crash, even if the accident was a bad one. On the flip side, if an accident is described as a smash, your mind will paint a terrible picture of the crash, even if it wasn't so bad. Number 17. Sometimes we find ourselves in situations where we have no idea how to do something. But the thing is, we end up doing it anyway. This is possible because our brains form an idea or picture of how something works. It's called a mental model. So if someone told you they did something you haven't tried before, your mind creates pictures of how they could have gone about it. This is the concept that is put to practice when you find yourself with tools and gadgets you've never used before. Your mind automatically forms some assumptions on how to use it. Number 18. You can literally die from having your heart broken. It's called stress cardiomyopathy, often referred to as broken heart syndrome. And it's a condition in which the heart muscles suffer severe weakness due to extreme emotional or physical stress. The condition is most common in young people, but it can be life-threatening for the elderly. This is the reason behind cases where one partner of an elderly couple passes away, and then the other follows shortly after. Hey there! Thanks so much for watching Mind State. Truly, the human mind is fascinating. Every day we are learning more and more about it. We're learning how to use it to improve our lives, be happier, and even achieve goals we didn't think were possible. But what do you think? Which psychological fact did you find most interesting? Do you know any other facts about human psychology that you would add to this list? Hey there! Thanks so much for watching Mind State. We're so glad you made it through this week's episode, and we hope you enjoyed it. We've got some great stuff on the way, so make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any of our next videos. We'd love to know, so leave a comment below. See you next time!